This ain't the finals when I tore my Achilles, bro, and you won that championship in Toronto because LeBron had left the Eastern Conference and stuff like that. You're lucky to get out of there. You know, even though DeMar DeRozan, I believe, would have would 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 pulled off the same thing Kawhi Leonard did if LeBron wasn't in the Eastern Conference that year. But that's neither here nor there. This morning I was watching First Take for the first time in a long time because none other than KOT4Q or Kenny or Kenny for real was on. And I thought it would be really awesome to see someone who inspired me to make content be on the big screen. I was impressed with their segment, but in the midst of this, while Stephen A and Kendrick Perkins were talking about the Clippers victory over the Suns last night, I heard one of the worst takes I've ever heard on national television. As you guys heard from the beginning, Stephen A. Smith said that the Mar DeRozan would have done the same thing as Kawhi Leonard in 2019, barring the fact that they were not traded for each other. I believe this to be wrong on so many levels, and this is not a slight or a diss at the Mar DeRozan or his game, it's just the fact that they're two completely different players. In today's video, we're going to be going through the 2019 Raptors trip to the NBA Finals and discussing in each series why I think this take is wrong and the moments where DeMar would not have done what Kawhi and the Raptors had done that season. Be sure to stick to the end of this video to hear a bit of a breakdown on each of these series, and if you're new here and do want to support the channel, please be sure to consider subscribing as we are on the road to 2,000 subscribers. Without further ado, let's get straight into this video talking about the first round matchup, the Raptors versus the Magic. Off the rip, I don't think the Raptors led by DeMar would have lost this series. The Magic, formerly led by Nikola Vucevic, were tremendously under-talented for the seventh seed especially compared to what we see today in today's game with the seven seeds i mean the seven seed in the west is lebron and ad and the seven seed out east is trey young and the atlanta hawks Kawhi just dominated the magic after a game one loss that was pretty shocking to most people and then they gentlemen swept them. Again, I don't think DeMar, Pascal, and Lowry would have any trouble with this Magic team, but before we do move on to the next round, I do want to say that the acquisition of Danny Green was very, very important for this team's success in the postseason. Someone with that kind of experience and spacing ability and defensive ability cannot be replaced. As for the next series, the Raptors and 76ers, this series is where I think the Raptors with DeMar DeRozan would have taken their exit. A series we all all know and love as it came down to one of the most iconic shots in sports history sports playoff history to be honest with you obviously Kawhi hits a crucial game winning shot at the buzzer in game seven in Toronto what a miracle shot and such a way to put away an insanely deep and talented Philadelphia 76ers team as they won 51 games that season Ben Simmons JJ Redick Jimmy Butler Tobias Harris and Joel Embiid is the starting five and then off the bench you have very notable names that can shoot and play defense like Robert Covington Dario Saric Furkan Korkmaz and even TJ McConnell was a great backup point guard for a while I think defensively without Kawhi Leonard this Raptors team led by DeMar DeRozan would have struggled a tremendous amount with Ben Simmons is just body and strength and length and then Jimmy Butler's ability to score as he led the 76ers in scoring that season with 22 points the Raptors defense led by Kawhi and Marc Gasol also did a great job slowing Joel Embiid down as he just averaged a shallow 17 points for this series going back to how Jimmy would excel against DeMar as opposed to Kawhi in their career matchups Kawhi is a defensive rating of 102 against Jimmy Butler while DeMar DeRozan has a defensive rating of 114 against Jimmy Butler, a near 12 point difference. Kawhi this series averaged 35 points, 10 rebounds, and 4 assists, including a monster game 1 where he recorded 45 points to really set the tone for this series. Another thing I'd like to point out in this series, and the entire championship run for the Raptors, and any team to be honest with you, is the difference a 3 ball can make for someone who's as talented of a mid-range scorer as DeMar and Kawhi are. In the playoffs, the mid-range rules. It's one of the greatest shots you can take, especially in the crunch time. However, great coaches will take away what you excel at, and DeMar DeRozan has seen that his entire career in the postseason. In 65 games, he shoots around 22% from the three, while in nearly double the amount of games, 136, Kawhi Leonard shoots 40% from the three on much higher volume as well. We're talking five to six attempts a night, when DeMar is taking one to two 
two attempts at the most tonight. Even though I think that the Raptors with DeMar would lose this series, let's talk about the next two pretty briefly. The Raptors versus the Bucks. If you think that DeMar DeRozan would be able to stop Giannis Antetokounmpo, I want you to just look at the Bulls versus Bucks series from last year and use that as a reminder. The Nick Nurse built wall with Kawhi, Pascal, and Marcus Gasol did an amazing job of slowing down Giannis this series. You cannot tell me that DeMar DeRozan would be as much help in the detrimental ability to slow down Giannis Antetokounmpo. And you also can't tell me that DeMar DeRozan and the Raptors would go down 0-2 to two and then rally back in that series as if DeMar DeRozan was the head of this helm. You, you just can't. Giannis averaged nearly 30 points and 10 rebounds in the series before that when they faced the Celtics. And then in the series versus the Raptors, he averaged 22 points and 13 rebounds in more minutes. Kawhi was the leading scorer five out of the six games for both teams. The only game he wasn't the leading scorer was an 18 point blowout in game four where the Raptors smashed the Bucks at home. I can't express this enough. The Raptors defense would not last in this series if the Mar was the number one option on offense and defense and finally the nba finals like i said i would not see this team even making it but because Stephen a said that they would make it and win it i have to talk about each and every series do i even need to explain why the raptors who couldn't beat lebron james in 2018 just lebron just lebron they got swept by lebron that year they couldn't beat him in their best year, and then they want to go out and beat the Kevin Durant-led Golden State Warriors? Really? That team that swept LeBron, who swept you. If DeMar is in that series, Kevin and Klay Thompson may never get injured because of the domino or butterfly effect. I don't think that they would even make the NBA Finals, but I bet a team of just Steph and Klay and Dre, assuming Kevin Durant still goes down with an injury, I bet they could easily beat the Raptors in that series, especially if Klay isn't injured until Game 6 like he was in that series with Kawhi. I, just, I really just do not understand understand how Stephen A came up with this take, but I digress. I didn't want this video to be too long, and I didn't want this video to be completely ragging on Stephen A, but man, I just believed that this take was terrible. What do you guys think? Am I way off? Would DeMar DeRozan have led this Raptors team to the promised land? And if you said yes, I need you to go down below and tell me why. I don't want to just say, or see, I should say, Oh, DeMar DeRozan and the Toronto Raptors would have won the NBA Finals. I need you to tell me why, because I can't see it. No matter what way I look at it, I just can't see DeMar DeRozan being as clutch as Kawhi. I can't see him being as defensively sound as Kawhi. I can't see him matching up with Jimmy or Giannis or Embiid or any of the talent out East like Kawhi did. And I definitely, definitely can't see him performing in the Finals like Kawhi did. Let me know in the comments below. If you guys made it this far, you know I appreciate your support as always. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Stay happy, healthy, and blessed. If you guys want to see more of this style of video where it's just topics instead of recaps, let me know in the comments below. Peace.